And shifting to the Islamic State hostage crisis, the Thursday deadline imposed by the militants has come and gone with no prisoner swap and no word from the jihadist group. The Turkish border gate, where the swap was to take place, remained calm on this Friday morning as it's still unclear what's happened to either the Japanese hostage or the young Jordanian pilot Muayth El Kasebe. Meanwhile, people on the streets of Tokyo have cast doubt on the situation, with many losing hope for their fellow countrymen. I'm still not sure whether the swap between the hostage and the death row convict is justifiable. It means we're putting back the criminal in our society. I don't know if such a thing can be justified under the plea of saving a human life. I fully feel for the wife who said she wants her husband back immediately. I hope that her wish will be realized soon. Japanese Prime Minister Shinzo Abe says his government is working closely with Jordan and other countries to secure the release of Kenji Goto, who was captured in Syria last year. Addressing a parliamentary panel on Friday, Abe said every effort was being made to determine the fate of the Japanese journalist.